All right, Suraj, that was really awesome. Uh, I was definitely blessed by that and encouraged and renewed on what faith it is and what faith is for us. You know, when I was listening to you, I was just thinking some of the common topics that might come up and uh, some of the things that uh, stood out for me is that, you know, maybe somebody hasn't called in but i'm thinking that maybe they have some some of this in their mind is that you know when you were sharing about abraham and what a great faith he has right a you know many people would think oh that was abraham or even david you know what a great uh, faith he has that abraham and david were great man of god you know mm -hmm. they have these special faith you mm -hmm. know i can never have that kind of faith you know mm -hmm. because their faith is something that you know god has given to them and they can do you know if they want anything they will have it Mm -hmm. At least that's the impression that, you know, when I was a child, I always understood that as, you know, mm -hmm. that, you know, wh wh how do you answer? Or how would you uh, talk? Tell, what would you tell someone who is going through that kind of mentality or question? Yeah, that's a good question. Very good question. Um, see, the thing about Abraham and David um, and uh, Noah or, or Moses. Or in our time, Benny Hinn or, or, or um, yeah. Bill Billy Grahams, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. See, the thing about uh, about that is, you know, they they've accomplished great things. Mm -hmm. uh, for in, in terms of Abraham and David, they were members uh, of the world in the Old Testament. You know, um, uh, in terms of Benny Hinn and Billy Billy Graham and uh, other uh, men of God in our, in our world today, they're they're living in the New Testament. Uh, in, in terms of the people living in the Old Testament. Um, See the the thing about it is we as believers in Jesus Christ today have a greater thing or a greater person who lives on the inside of us, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I'd like to encourage everyone listening out there that uh, Jesus Christ was greater than Abraham. Jesus mm -hmm. Christ is, and it still is greater than David. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the fact of the matter is that. Jesus Christ lives on the inside of you. Um, you know, there might be days where uh, y you don't feel like um, uh, that you're a child of God. You might you might not feel like um, uh, the daughter of God or the son of God. But the truth of the, uh, the matter is that Jesus Christ lives on the inside of each and every one of us as believers. And um, as a result of that, I, 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 I want to tell you that Jesus Christ was, uh, is greater than Abraham and David. You know, um, it, it was wonderful things that Abraham, David, and Noah, and Moses uh, were able to accomplish. Uh, but Jesus ac accomplished uh, a greater thing. And, and, the f and the thing is that Jesus Christ was not just a person uh, in human form. He was God himself. And uh, I think uh, if we if we have that kind of uh, question in our minds, we just need to be encouraged by the fact that uh, God Himself lives on the inside of you. Yeah, Amen. That's that's exactly what I was thinking as well. And I I was uh, the I was also stirred up by what you were the passage you were sharing with us. Sorry, Romans chapter ten, verse seventeen. You know, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. And you also mentioned that you know we develop our faith. So we don't know w what the childhood and the childhood of Abraham and David was. At least David, I, I, when I was reading uh, somewhere that I remember David was a man who studied the Word of God. Mm. And I know in our in the Jewish culture, you pretty much have to know the first ten or first five books of the Bible, right? Mm -hmm. So, like you were saying and sharing with us earlier, they probably have developed their faith. Mm -hmm. You know, they were one point started like we were, and you know, uh, when we come to understand and practice this faith that Christ has given us, and like you said, we have one st we're st one step, we have one step advantage, a great step advantage is that we have Christ inside mm -hmm. of us, and because of that, we can we have the same faith as Abraham yeah. and David, yeah. and we can accomplish great things or even greater things yeah. than David and Abraham if we just you know grow in that faith that we have in Christ, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and if we actually look at uh, Abraham and where he came from, his actual his family um, uh, background actually they were um, idol worshippers. Mm -hmm. You know, if you look at that, and uh, I know there there are a lot of uh, people listening uh, who come from uh, a Tamil background or a Sri Lankan background who may not have been Christians before. And uh, you know what? You can do great things, uh, like you just said. You know, because Jesus Christ lives on the inside mm -hmm. of you. 
And you know, there's so many books that I was reading on. You know, um, some people that I can throw out is there Samuel Wigglesworth mm-hmm. or Kenneth Hagen, mm-hmm. right? I w- when I was reading about the main thing that they were always focused on is the Word of God, right? They always they were telling me that, uh, well, not telling me when I was reading the book, <laughs> I, w- I was learning that that they will some sometimes they will even miss dinner or even mm-hmm. breakfast, and yeah. they're day and night they're just spending time in the Word and mm-hmm. just just taking in the word as much as they can yep. and like the verse says right verse 17 says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god mm-hmm. so that's what they soaked in and that's what their life was it's just re- listening to the word of god and coming to the reality that you know christ is in me yep. you know is one thing when we when um there's uh, one book from kenneth hagan that i was really stirred up is two kind of faith mm-hmm. i don't know if you ever got a chance to read that book um and he's talking about the knowledge faith and he's talking about spiritual faith Mm -hmm. and you know he was telling that the disciples had knowledge faith Mm -hmm. which meaning that the disciples saw jesus and experienced jesus they they didn't have to they didn't (coughs) excuse me they didn't have to uh go uh, they didn't have to read about it and believe they saw Jesus, they saw the miracles for their eyes, mm-hmm. so that he called them knowledge faith. Then there's another faith he's talking about us, which is spiritual faith. We're re- reading and we're believing it, and he called the spiritual faith a lot greater mm. because it's real faith because we don't see it and we still believe it, yeah. right? But uh, like uh, I'd like to say, you know what, even though we may not be able to see it, we can experience it in, exactly. a, in a tangible way because, you know, faith is the substance of things hoped Amen. for, you know, and uh, the evidence of things not seen. Um, yeah, like, I mean, uh, we may pray for a person to be healed, um, but um, we can see the exact, uh, we can see the tangible uh, change that uh, takes place in people's lives um, as a result uh, of, of what faith uh, accomplishes or what Jesus Christ accomplished. Man, that, that's good news, you know, that's exciting, you know, that I can accomplish what Abraham accomplished or what Benny Hinn is accomplishing right now. And even greater. <laughs> even greater, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Amen. Um, well, we uh, hope you've enjoyed this program today, um, July the 30th. And uh, we thank you, and uh, we just counted a privilege to be a part of uh, Waves of Powers Ministries and uh, to, to come here to you uh, every week, every other week uh, for myself um, to, uh, to, to share God's word and to share the, the message of hope to people in this world today. Uh, uh, encourage your friends, encourage your family members who, uh, who may not be Christians, who are Christians, who, um, who have uh, an hour to spend uh, to listen to this program or to other programs uh, here at Waves of Powers. And so we encourage you to uh, spread the message to people around you, to people in your workplace, to uh, family members. And uh, and uh, we we uh, hope to to hear from you with uh, any comments or questions or prayer requests um, or uh, words of encouragement, things that God has done uh, in your life in a personal uh, basis. So uh, we thank you once again for listening uh, to us. Uh, let me just end with a quick word of prayer, and uh, uh, let's go forward from there. Father God, we thank you for this time. We thank you uh, for, for the ability for us as believers to do great things, uh, ultimately and only because of what you accomplished on the cross uh, 2,000 years ago. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are alive today, seated on the right hand of the Father, uh, but you are here with us uh, in your Holy Spirit. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, uh, for strengthening, uh, strengthening us and guiding us uh, on a day-to-day basis. We thank you. Jesus. Uh, amen. Ningal, Englodo Total Hola Vendia, Tolebesi Alakam, Nan Kundar, Renda in the Mundu, Cyber Cyber, Et Cyber, and Pavendia Minangel, info at wavesofpower.com.